biometrics is uh, a discipline that's been growing, a research discipline that's been growing within the university for the past three or four years. Uh, it's pretty important at the moment. A lot of people are aware, most people are aware of the scanners that are used at airports uh, currently, but they only do certain things. Our ideas are to develop that further. Uh, and we would call it a multimodal uh, biometric scanner in that it's trying to scan perhaps some of the more acceptable biometrics like face biometrics, uh, perhaps your fingerprints, behavioral traits of people as well, like their voice, intonation, um, the way they walk, which is called gait, and the way they might use their eyes as well. So these are all, these are all scannable features of a human being. We have several cameras currently installed. One particular interest is called the Connect camera, which is actually an infrared camera and it can look at the patterns in your, the way you move your joints, or your elbow joints, your knee joints, example, can be traced with this camera during the day or at night. Uh, if you're in the vicinity of it, your movements will be tracked, your joint movements will be tracked, and they can be computerized digitally, and you can analyze the way someone walks from that. But more than that, you could actually analyze the same person to see if they're walking in an uncharacteristic way. There are ethical barriers to overcome, obviously, on anything like this, which could be con uh, considered to be an infringement on people's um, private, private data. So that is an issue, but, you know, we live in, a, in an age of CCTV cameras, do we not? And we accept them. We seem to accept those. So in time, I think if the technology can show benefits, why shouldn't it be incorporated?